two changes for TFC. Bernadeschi suspended. Coelho drops to the bench. Osorio and Marshall Rutti come in. After a victory over St. Louis, Kubo is injured. Kelsey comes in to an inviting front three. Yeah. Away we go. Now the phrase in these parts used to be, it's a bloody big deal. And today it feels exactly that. Victories like that, Kale and Carl, will certainly help with confidence. Yeah, they'll be buzzing, especially coming off that 5-1 win at home against their rival in a derby match, the way they played in it as well. He strikes it towards goal. Easy pickings for Roman Celentano and goal. Forward by Buka. Perhaps an opening here for Cincinnati. Johnson doing ever so well to tighten the angle. Has to go down as an opening for Cincinnati. It's tense, it's tight. Feels like a big night at BMO Field, even at this stage. And Sinier's ball in towards Ben Barber. Floor is coming off that derby match as the most important midfielder, but not for his ability in the attack, but he shows the quality with the head there. And Cincinnati finds something here. Towards the Casper goals, the end of towards goal. Not too far wide. Forrest has claimed that position has really been the heartbeat of that midfield from a deep line position. Now oh, that is Spicer. Angle ball in. Going into the path of Marshall Ratti. And it looks in behind for a corner. So the shot now getting closer and closer to goal. Oh, they shot now. Discuss and observe what's happened in what has been a thrilling opening half here at BMO Field. The Russo and Sinier! Held to one side superbly by Roman Celentano! Gomez stepping firmly. It's fallen now for Orishano! Goal! Just like that! The most alert to it. It's really well worked from Kelsey to fight for it. Venezuela takes the hit. for his third goal for FC Cincinnati and in an instant to start the second half. Corner taken quickly. Petretta, Lorenzo Insigne combining. Insigne! It's so well worked, straight off the training ground. They've already scored one off a corner. That one direct, this one comes in from intricate combination play and he puts it across the frame of goal. Jerry Gatien Jr. is going to tuck in in that number 10 position. Forward again, and perhaps another opening for FC Cincinnati. The bounce and angle was always against Kelsey. With him and Orejano standing on top of it. In the meantime, Gerardo Valenzuela departs. Sergio Santos comes on fresh from his first goal of the season in Major League Soccer. It's Orejano looking to find a way through. And now Santos still under the challenge. It's a goal. Drops right to Orejano. And for FC Cincinnati, it's the other Argentine, Orejano, stepping up with a breakout match. from Insigne dropping deep and he's just tantalizing them to draw Miazga out. That opens up space in behind and Etienne is able to stretch the field here. You can see Miazga going high up the pitch to chase Insigne and the back post is always going to be the spot that's open in the situation and Etienne squares it across and you can see there Miles Robinson clearly brings down Owusu. Insigne sets the ball in his spot. He was never in doubt from 
there, picks out his spot, puts it past Celentano. In the second half, when they've needed to find their way back. Costa, that doesn't control it. Nuts forward, a real opening here. Into the grasp of Sean Johnson. Insigne has come to life in this second half. You can see the goals have really invigorated him. He's got the crowd behind him. We mentioned Insigne was growing in strength and confidence, but this is just outrageous to strike from this distance. We've seen him score once already this part. Luciano Acosta, twisting, turning, teasing, angled ball play, in, goal! Santos with number four! He's never worried, that lovely little ball to put it in that window to Assad, and the drop down comes to a trailing Sergio Santos, who's just come on in this match. Goisho. See Insigne just a step offside there, it's clear. Does so well here with the finish to strike through that pass. And behind. That is that. Historic, euphoric.